Hey, there he is. Yes. Hey, John Paul, how are you? I'm fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Good. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Is it nighttime where you are? Yes. Okay. It's actually um, some minutes, like 60 minutes to 9 p.m. Oh, wow. PM. Well, thanks for tuning in yes. so late. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's fine. I missed the first, I think I missed the, the Q&A for last week. So actually, actually place this one on my calendar so I don't miss it. Oh, good. Thanks. Thanks for doing that. Yeah. Yeah. We have Israel as well. Hey, Israel, how are you? There he is. Hey. Hey, how's it going today? Hi, Hey, hey Chad. Doing good, thanks. How are you? Fantastic. It's Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So so I do have a hard stop at the top of the hour. <laughs> I do have a hard stop in about sixteen minutes. So yeah. Some um, teams meeting which I have to run back to. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. That happens. Anything you want to ask before you have to jump off? Um, no, not really. But I actually attended to learn from others. Like on my own personal learning, I actually succeeded in. I was struggling on installing the ingress controller, but I did that I think last week. So I'm actually working on trying to like set up. Um, TLS termination on the cluster. So that's what I'm trying to work on. on this oh, switch. okay. Yeah. Interesting. What what part are you, uh, wh where are you at in that process? Well, I'm just watching some videos to get used to the the whole process. So I'll try implementing it myself and see if I can get it done. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we could we could go through that. Uh, Israel, did, did you have anything that you want to cover before you have to jump? I, th I think for, for today, no. For today, no. I've just uh, been going on with those exercises which you gave and, uh, yeah, setting up clusters using the different tools, Minikube, Kind, and, yeah, Killer, Coder. Yeah, nice. just, <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't run into a wall yet. I'm sure maybe in lessons two and three, I would definitely stumble across something. Nice. Well, feel free to jump in anytime here in the next uh, 10 minutes, I guess. <clears throat> sure. But uh, yeah, let me uh, let me share my screen and let's get into talking about ingress controllers. That would be fun. Yeah, it's nice. All right. So let's just go through... You know, for those people watching on the replay, let's go through what in, an ingress controller is, right? So to put it very, very simply, you have your Kubernetes cluster here. And you have incoming requests that are coming into the Kubernetes API. So you have this kind of API... Uh, API server that's on the outside accepting requests. And so these requests are, are incoming and you know that the, the request may be, you know, coming from different uh, different places, right? So you might have a request uh, that is a, a Kubernetes administrator trying to access the cluster using what we talked about last week, which is the, the authentication, authorization, and admission control. Uh, but also um, in terms of exposing your application that's running inside the cluster, there's also a, a way to, um, to request uh, based on uh, what you have exposed in terms of the, the endpoint of that application. So... Um, let's talk about the requests first. So the, the requests may be going to, um, maybe coming in and trying to get to your application 
which lives inside of the Kubernetes cluster, right? On one of the cluster nodes. So, and this is inside of a, you know, inside of a pod. And um, you also have a service that allows you to access your pod as well as any other replicated pods in your cluster. So this is a service that is uh, usually a cluster IP service, but it could also be a node port service or a load balancer service. But just for the sake of, uh, you know, when we're talking about ingress, it's most likely, uh, or it should be a cluster IP service. So this cluster IP service, um, you know, is the very nature of a cluster IP service is internal is for con internal communication only. So by default, a cluster IP service uh, doesn't have the ability to um, expose a port or a um, any way to get out of the cluster. So we can't we can't just use the cluster IP service to to have incoming requests routed to our application. So, you know, I just described, um, or I just, uh, I just touched on node port and load balancer type services really quickly, but, uh, you know, node port, the node port service extends a port on the node. Um, and then a load balancer service uses, um, a load balancer, like a cloud load balancer to, um, to, to also you know, route to your application. <clears throat> uh, the difference there is, is that a node port service is, um, you know, e exposing a port on, on, a node, uh, directly. So that, that means that anybody can have access to that node, uh, through that port that's accessible. Um, and then a, a load balancer, uh, doesn't necessarily eliminate that port um, being used, but the load balancer allows you to point uh, point people or point uh, re incoming request to that load balancer as opposed to the node port. There's actually a feature release that's coming out soon that allows you to disable the node port when you're creating a load balancer because of that node port being exposed. But anyways, that's that's a tangent. Let's let's focus on ingress, which is something else entirely. Um, ingress is a way for you to get in the cluster um, and then route to different services in the cluster. So we have our uh, ingress resource that's located in the cluster. And this ingress resource will have uh, a, do a domain name. You know, let's say, um, you know, example.com, you know, that a domain name uh, people will go to, you know, via web browser. And once they type in that, um, once they type in that domain name will be routed to an ingress resource, but they, they will not know how to get there unless there's something uh, that's called an ingress controller that we were just, uh, that we were just talking about. So if we uh, put an ingress controller here, This ingress controller is going to be uh, routing traffic from the incoming, you know, example.com or whatever domain name you have set up. Um, it's going to route requests from the uh, from the outside or from from the API uh, through the ingress controller and to the ingress resource. So it goes to the ingress controller first, and then from the ingress controller, it goes to the ingress resource, and then from the ingress resource, goes to the cluster IP service. And then from the cluster IP service, finally, it's routed to your application. All right, so um, 
the ingress controller is more or less a uh a, a natted gateway to into your cluster so it's um it's it's providing additional headers on those packets to tell that packet where to be routed to uh, the other thing that's nice about an ingress resource and, and using ingress in general is that you can you know route to not only this service but if you had a second service um, you could route to that service as well without having to create an additional ingress resource So the question, uh, the million dollar question for today is how do you install an ingress controller, right? And if I may ask, what, uh, what type of ingress controller have you chosen? A, a popular one is obviously Nginx, but there's uh, tra traffic as well. Wh which one are you using? John I, use, I use Nginx controller, ingress controller, Nginx. Nginx and what is where is your cluster hosted? Is it okay? Uh, I use I use the um, EKS the cluster on AWS. Okay, so, yeah, so do that. I okay. So if you're if you're using EKS, more than likely the ingress controller will be included, given that you apply uh, a, an annotation to the ingress resource. Have you tried that yet? Yeah, um, what I did was um, I went to the documentation of Nginx Ingress Controller. So there is, there's already a helm chart there that you can use to install the Ingress Controller and for different kinds of clusters. So I used the documentation to install that. So what I did in my Ingress resource, I actually defined an Ingress class mm. as an annotation. So enable the controller will be fair. So the the ingress resource was more or less like a configuration file for the controller to so enable it to know how to route the traffic. So that's what I I did. Right. Um so let me show you an example of uh how you would add an annotation to uh add an annotation to an ingress resource and maybe you're trying to do something similar so maybe um this will help okay all right so i have a just a i dumped all of, you know every uh <laughs> yaml you can think of i dumped into here uh on on github and so you can uh you can look at these if you'd like on your own but um Let's go down to ingress. So here we go. So let's just open and take a look at these one by one. This ingress, uh, this does not have any annotations. Um, this this one is for Azure, and this uses um, ingress class. That's what you added to yours, right? Yes, I did that. Yeah, so this is uh, something similar, but for Azure as opposed to AWS. And uh, here I'm using the annotation for the cert manager as well, and then the app gateway uh, dot ingress dot Kubernetes dot iOS SSL redirect. Um, are you using, is your ingress using a TLS? You no, I'm, I'm trying to work on that. My next um, hands on trying to work on configuring series. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me find another good example here. All right, so here's um, with Nginx specifically, a lot of times you have to rewrite the target. 
So if you try adding this line to your annotations, this will uh, rewrite rewrite the target, meaning um, sometimes the uh, the packet will come with uh, like essentially instructions for what what destination it's trying to reach. Um, this annotation uh, removes that and then rewrites the target. So it rewrites where the packet's supposed to go essentially. So maybe you could try that and then uh, this one's also, you know, instead of a forward slash dollar sign one, it's just a forward slash. Um, so dollar sign one just means, I think it just means re rewrite the first target as opposed to all targets. This one's the dollar sign one again. This one doesn't have any. And let's look at some more examples. Oh, I have so many examples here. Ran out of names. <laughs> All right, so this one's simple. This one's yeah, another simple. Uh, this one's with that rewrite target again. Uh, this one's a traffic one. This one's traffic. This one's, um, yeah, rewriting the target, but with two paths. I would like to have the link to the repo so I can study some of the patterns. Yeah, definitely. I will uh, I'll put this in the chat. OK, thanks. Sure. There we go. So. Yeah, I think I think in your case, uh, either it's going to be either this one or the one with the dollar sign one is going to work for you. I used I used only the I used only the annotation for the ingress class. I didn't add any other annotation. Mm. I only rewrite the headers. I just used, but I noticed something when I when I tried or when I finished setting it up when I tried it the it wasn't working until I changed the path to my, to the, like the path after the HTTP path, like I changed it to slash pointing to the host directly. Oh, right. Before, before it's worked. So that's what I noticed. Uh, yeah. There's also a different path type you could try. Are you using prefix or uh, there's an exact use, path type? I use prefix. Prefix? Yeah. yeah. Um. So I'm actually trying to like, I'm preparing for the CKA, but I'm kind of, I'm wondering if I should go for the CKA the first before doing the CKA. So I don't know. Like, because I noticed the CKA curriculum consists of the CKA, the curriculum as well, but some, with some extra stuff added to it. So I, the CKA D is definitely easier than the CKA. Um, yes. Yes, I knew that. Yeah. So there's a little, uh, uh, there's a little bit of overlap there. But if, if you did want to take the CKA D, that'd be good practice because you you have a higher likelihood of passing, being that it's easier. Yeah, I think I'll go for like what I figured out the difference is in the CKA, you should know how to install a cluster, manage it, then the security aspect and networking should be deep in those areas. 
But the CKD, yep. the CKD is more of deployment and how to like write um construct a self-healing pod, something like that. So I was like, okay, since the curriculum there's an overlap, maybe I should master that of the CKD. So next time I can have focus more on the the security, the maintenance, and the constant installation parts for the CK. Yeah, the CKAD focuses on, uh, you know, as it as a developer would, you know, focuses on running applications on Kubernetes versus the CKA, which is how to run Kubernetes itself. So with the CKA, you're going to get into managing the kubelet, being able to run static pods, um, being you know having having to troubleshoot and a, a lot more that's more administrative versus you know running applications and uh, configuring applications so that's that's i think that's why the ck is harder um is is because you'll you'll have to know some of those uh, behind the scenes or, or under the hood type uh, configuration parameters and, and how to, how to, how to fix Kubernetes itself uh, when things go wrong. So. Yeah. That's what I noticed. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you already have your CKA scheduled or just starting? I don't, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to save up for it. So. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, they might have a they might have a coupon. Uh, a lot of times, Linux Foundation has a coupon for uh, they've, they've they've been doing it every month. Um, yeah, I know about I know about the coupon. Sometimes they do give forty thirty five percent off. But I'm I'm actually from Nigeria and so the exchange rate is very bad. <laughs> so oh, I yeah. need to save, save a lot of a lot Oh of for the oh, okay, yeah. I see. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I I uh, uh I think there one is one for yeah, just keep an eye on uh let's see. I'm I'm on a um like you could sign up for their newsletter or I get emails from Linux Foundation. Uh, every month to to tell me, you know, what are the coupon codes that I could use for that month. So just keep an eye out, out eye out for that. Okay. Yeah. Can I can I also subscribe to the newsletter? Or... Yeah. Yeah. If you go to xfoundation.org, um, I think. xfoundation.org and then uh, from the menu here you can go to training so training home and then uh, let's see so let's see how do I sign up here? <laughs> I think it was a pop-up last time I saw. Oh, here we go. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see it, get exclusive discounts, news, and more with our free newsletter. Yeah. So yeah, just go to training.linuxfoundation.org and then scroll to the bottom. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. So I'm actually, um, the only thing I was, you know, I was part of the, Core when you launch the platform. So I actually wanted to like sign up for your pro package. I'm just yeah. being delayed because of the funds involved. So that's that's why I'm delayed because I actually will want to like learn under your guidance so that I can. Yeah. Yeah. So that's I'm like just that the funds now it's. I just started work, but the money I'm getting is not that much and is in Naira, so that's why. 
Yeah, definitely. We, we'd love to have you in the, in the Cube Skills Pro. Um, we've been having our weekly calls and each person has their individual paths. And I think it's, <clears throat> I think it's going really well. Um, Israel was, was one of the people he was, he, I think he dropped off by now, but he was one of the people in the, in the pro membership. And so if you ever want to reach out to him and ask how's, you know, how things are going and just get his review, um, feel free to do so. And then, yeah, we, any, whenever you're ready, we, we'd be happy to have you. I know, I know it will be just fine because I got to know about you from the Cube Simplify stuff. So, oh, yeah. I got to know about you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Slam is, yeah. Yeah. Siam is doing a great job over there at uh, Cube Simplify. It's, yeah. Those workshops were really fun. Yes. So maybe I'll, in the time being, I'll push myself to see if I can get the CKAD through. Then for the CK by then I, I hopefully we will be able to sign up for the CK CKA. Yeah. 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 Sounds like a, you sounds also, like a good plan. You also, you also offer um, trainings for CKS. You also do CKS. Yeah. Yeah. We have a. So if we go to the community, we have a uh, space that you can join here. That's for the CKS exam. And so everybody who's in here is studying for the CKS, uh, which is the hardest of the four to, uh, to pass. And, uh, and I haven't, I haven't passed it yet. I've had two attempts and I haven't passed the CKS yet. So that's how hard it is. And, uh, but, um, uh, usually I usually suggest, uh, let's see if I put it up here. Yeah. CKS prep course. I usually suggest going through this course to prepare for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the German, this, is he when I've forgotten his name. I can't, his name is very difficult to pronounce. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very difficult. It's a German, the, the, the maker of killer.sh, right? He founded killer.sh. Yep. Killer shell. Yeah. 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 He's, 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 uh, he's, he know he's the person who knows it all, <laughs> it seems. Um, so he's, he's a very good person to, to be connected with for sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I just wanted to continue, uh, looking for some possible solutions for you for the ingress controller. Okay. Like I think I, I figured out I would like go through your examples and learn more patterns, but I was successful when I did the ingress controller. Mm. So I'm just curious now though, if uh what kind of annotations we should use. So maybe if I can't yes. find it in a couple minutes here, I'll move on to that thing but that's what i would like to learn as well like where can i get information about the annotations to use like a documentation so that's what i would like to learn and i also found out that it oh hey look at that annotations rewrite target i think that's going to be your ticket is uh creating creating this annotation Yeah, this is uh, you know, this is um, this site that I'm looking at right now is not necessarily associated with AWS, so it's not official documentation, but that's it's a lead. Okay. So let's, I guess we can verify that by looking at AWS. Um, so there you go. Add an ingress controller. All right, so listener mapping. Okay, this is something different.
Here's a separate ringer service. This one has a different, that's a different annotation. That's for, that's for something, that's for routing to a specific AWS load balancer. we go. Uh, so let's I would think it would be in here, but I don't see it. So, authentication maybe. Security. Okay, I'll continue to, to look through this and I'll send you the link if I find it. But <laughs> I think uh, based on that yeah. first article that we saw, I think the rewriting the target might be a good thing to try. Yeah, I will try that on my own. Like, cool. Yeah, you know, I'll try it. I also figured out AWS has its own ingress controller, so I also like to like mm -hmm. look at it. Yeah. Yep. All right. So let's see. Um, any other any other questions besides the ingress controller? Mm hmm. Since no. you're the only one here, you have the <laughs> you have the floor. Well, now generally, I'm just um, I'm just trying to go deep into I mean, into Kubernetes. I've been able to deploy some applications on my own, but I'm just trying to like go deep to learn a lot. <clears throat> but I think I'm having. Like I have issues with the networking parts, although I, maybe I just I just need a good course that can explain it to my level hmm. to be able to grab it. So I've seen different explanations. Some people explain it differently, others explain it differently. So I don't really know the the actual thing. It's, I think that's the very challenging part of the AWS. It's, I mean, the Kubernetes itself, the networking part of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little hard to to grasp. Um, I can recommend some some courses. Um, so that, I'm not sure if you were a previous member of cloud skills or not but i know about cloud skills but i think they were bought over by i think they were bought over by somebody some other company or so yeah um and and uh what is it <laughs> i forgot cloud skills acquired and our nre or i n e there we go <laughs> Yeah. Okay. But anyways, um, yeah, you can you can get this. Uh, if you if you don't if you aren't a previous uh, Cloud Skills member, you can go to INE. Um, 
Ayan okay. eh. Since he's heavily focused on Azure. Uh, yeah. Um, so this is Azure, which you could <clears throat> you could make correlations to <clears throat> AWS, but because it's uh, a lot of the similar, um, you know, AKS is very similar to EKS in a lot of ways. Um, this this is just a course that I thought of right uh, off Charlie, the bat because yeah. I go through this exactly. Yeah. And I actually need the course because I'll be having an interview on Monday. I need to be based on Kubernetes and stuff. So hopefully if I'm if I they are using um Kubernetes on Azure. So oh yeah. Hopefully if I'm if I make it, then I'll be heavily relying on the course to to kind of couple to polish my skills on Azure. Yeah, definitely. Let me know. Yeah. Um yeah, I go through I, I I explain it very simply in terms of, you know, kind of what I just did with ex trying to explain ingress is, you know, from a request coming in, you know, where, where is the traffic directed? And so in this case, I go through, I have a, let's see, I have a um, Nginx uh, example as well, which, uh, is it this one? Uh, no, because that's the. Cluster and then deploy. Maybe it's over here. I think uh, this is this is a lesson where I installed the Nginx Ingress controller, and then in the in the next video is where I installed the uh, application uh, gateway. So let's. Yeah. I, I, anyway, um, I know that there's a Nginx example as well as a Azure Application Gateway uh, example in here. Okay. Um, and if it's not in that one, then it's in the from scratch course. No problem. It's just a question of me going through the course. I'll figure it out. Yeah. So there's this one, the Kubernetes up and running, which is what we were just looking at. And then there's Kubernetes from scratch. Oh, here we go. Uh, that's an Nginx pod. So stateless apps, ingress, here we go. Kubernetes ingress. So use an ingress controller and resource to access two different apps. Okay. So this is the Nginx um, lesson that I, that I thought was in the other one. So yeah, yeah. Check out those two courses. Um, I also usually recommend uh, Tech World with Nana, which is like her information lot. She has a course here. Uh, the the Kate's administrator course, which is you know for the CK exam, but. There's uh, there's ingress obviously in that one because ingress is going to be covered on the CKA. Definitely. And then, um, 
Sure. She was another instructor that I really like. Uh, so he, has, he has this I course called it. Kubernetes Mastery. Awesome. So that's pretty good. I've heard of him. What else? You heard of him? Yeah, <laughs> he's pretty pretty big name. I also use Code Cloud too for learning too. Oh right, right, yeah. I can't can't forget about Code Cloud. Yeah, I do use that too. Code Cloud is a good one to use for. Um, yeah, they have all the all the, the exams answer. and yeah, all the exams, and they have um, a live um, server to like practice. Yeah. Yep. Hands-on labs and lots of practice. Yep. Yeah, they have Kubernetes for absolute beginners, CKAD, CKA, CKS. So what I'm using to study now, there is a course on plural sites by Nocentino. So I'm using that one and Code Cloud to study. Oh, good. Perfect. Yeah. Good. Yeah, those are the ones I would recommend as well. I haven't um, haven't explored plural site much, but I know that yeah, you know, these ones are good ones. So Code Cloud, Brett Fisher, and the plural site is is just good for you to build up the knowledge. You know, they they are not that good when it comes to hands on. You can beef up your knowledge on plural sites. Oh yeah. You need the hands on to master to master it so you can pass the exams. So that's what I'm just trying to do. Yeah. Using plural sites to get the knowledge and then go to Code Cloud to practice. Yeah, or you can go to Killer Coda. <laughs> yes. I always talk I also, about it, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I have it at the back of my mind. Before taking the exam, I'll go to Killer Coda too. Yeah, I love Killer Coda. It's just so easy. And, you know, you have a cluster already started. It's it's super fast and easy. Um, yeah, what else can we talk about? So, yeah, we talked about those... Uh, ingress examples. Uh, we talked about. Um, I just wanted to point out on the documentation site it has the different types, the different path types. So implementation specific, which uh, chooses either prefix or, prefix or exact based on the ingress class, and then you could actually pin it to exact or prefix, which prefix is is most likely going to be your yeah, that's uh, the most common. Most common, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we have maybe 10 more minutes. Anything else that uh, you want to cover or that you've been thinking about lately or <laughs> anything? I'm just thinking about improving my Kubernetes skills so that I can, like currently I work in a boot camp where okay. I'm like a support engineer. So I actually support the students implementing the projects on the bootcamp. So whenever they have technical blockers, it's my duty to unblock them. So I'm try actually looking for a role where I'll be working on production systems. So that's so I have to skill up so that I can have have that. So that's my immediate concern for now. Yeah. Uh, so this is something that you'll uh, be expected to do pretty soon for your job. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Um, like, luckily, I got, um, I'll be having an interview on Monday. So hopefully, okay. if I if I skate through, then I'll have the job that I really want to. Oh, good. Yeah, well, good so luck in the interview. Thanks. And uh, let me know if I can help at all. I... Uh, I've been through quite a quite a few interviews myself, so I could maybe offer some advice, but let me know. It's actually my, my first interview, so I don't know. I'm kind of tensed, <laughs> but I'll do my best to prepare. Yeah, so yeah. what is the the uh what is the job? What is the actual title? It's a DevOps rule. The DevOps, the okay. stack is mainly Java Node, React and Kubernetes. Okay. So, like, I do have a developer background. I wrote a couple of 
mostly Node. I wrote a couple of APIs and so my last app was I attempted building a, a microservice application, just the back end. Yeah. So I did that and deployed to a Kubernetes cluster. So of late, I'm trying to like skill up in Kubernetes to get clear the certifications so that I can then um, move over to maybe something like Terraform and go deep into it. So that's yeah. really what I'm thinking of now. Yeah, good. So I think if it's a DevOps interview, they might be asking about how to, you know, how to build pipelines. Have you ever? Yeah, I know how to build pipelines. I built a couple. Yeah. I know I'm familiar with platforms like SQL CI, and I've used the um, GitHub Actions once. Okay, cool. But generally, I know how to build pipeline. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so that's that's one thing that um, se seems like you're already prepared for. And uh, did you say did you say Python or no? Uh, Node. 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 Okay. Yeah. I've I've been seeing a lot of DevOps roles ask for Python experience. Um, yeah, yeah, they actually use it for scripting mainly for yeah. script information. So, but that depends on, it depends on your stack. If you're heavily Kubernetes, you, I think you have less need for scripting. I yep. think so. Except you're using things like VMs that you need scripting stuff more. So it depends on the company and their stack. So Yeah, it's more for the provisioning, I think. Provisioning of, yeah. the, yes. of, the, of the cluster. Um, and it might be multiple clusters, right? So... Um, a lot of companies use something like Terraform to spin up their yeah. clusters or... That's the standard now, Terraform or yeah. Pulumi. Pulumi is coming up, but Terraform is the dominant too. Yeah. And then there's, uh, for the deployment, uh, um, as in deploying your applications to multiple clusters because a lot of companies still have a separate Kubernetes cluster for their dev environment or their UAT or their, um, or their test environment, you know, there's, um, Argo CD, which is popular. And, uh, yeah. what's the um, other one? Flux CD. Flux CD. Yep. Yes. And uh, starts with an S. I can't remember the. But I'm told the company I'm interviewing with, they make use of Azure DevOps. They don't use GitOps now for now. So, oh, okay. Yeah, Azure so DevOps, it's, yeah. It's the CI CD stuff. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Well, it seems like you're you're pretty well prepared, so I'm sure you'll do great. I just need an opportunity. That's yeah. what I just need an opportunity to to express to myself. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. I've been I've been I've been learning DevOps for like over a year. Yeah. So I just like I think the last six months from I think from April, I was actually doing two um I had two boot camps that I actually did finish completed simultaneously. I did the Udacity Cloud DevOps um, Nano Degree. Oh, yeah. And currently, we are, where I'm working, actually, I also did their bootcamp too. So, based on my performance, that was how I got the job where I'm working. So, okay. I just need an, I just need an opportunity to like work in the production setting so that I gain the experience because implementing projects is not enough. You need to, there are some things that you need to get. In production environment so that's what i'm yes. lacking for now yeah yeah i totally agree with you i i was a trainer for a while i used to work for uh linux academy it was called and then the linux academy got bought out by a cloud guru and uh i had at the end of my tenure there i had the same opinion about 
there's only there's only so many test clusters you can create and test scenarios and so i had to get back into consulting you know to to get exposed to that experience that you're talking about so yeah i agree <laughs> very very important yeah well good uh, well best of luck on your interview and uh please post uh of course you, I'll, I'll please share. post in the community and we'll all cheer you on <laughs> of course i will i will i'm part of the community now so i'll share great whatever happens in my life i'll share with the community <laughs> love okay. it all right. Well, thanks for joining today, John Paul. Appreciate it. Um, staying up late. I really, uh, I really admire you. And uh, I always, I always look for an opportunity to learn. So, so it's nothing. Good. Yeah. Good. So good. I'll always be there. <laughs> that will, uh, that will serve you well in the future, I'm sure. Yeah, and uh, yeah, well, good luck with the interview. And let me know how, if you get your uh, ingress controller up and running. And uh, let me know how that goes as well. Yeah, I will. I All already right. have it. I I have succeeded in the ingress controller. I just want to set up um, um, uh, the ingress resource TLS permission on the ingress controller, but it's running now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you're so halfway there. TLS, yeah, it's the TLS that I'm trying to work on. Yeah. Good. All right. Well, thanks again for joining and uh, you have a good night. All right. We'll see you next time. Yeah. It's my pleasure. Bye-bye. Right. Take care. We'll see you.